All right, here's the plot. Some dark elf dude captures some dwarves, steals their map, kills them, goes to a hidden cave, finds the forge of spells. You go, you kill them. Okay, but why? Don't worry about why, just go kill him. No, really, why? I'm gonna need a reason. Uh, why is he doing all these things? Why is he killing these people? Why does he want the Forge oh, of Spells? Fuck. I've seen a couple of great motivations for the Black Spider online. Uh, I tried to even use one of them, but my players kind of killed him before I could really get that off. The first big one that I really liked is that the Black Spider is a drider, and he's trying to get back to his normal form by using the Forge of Spells. This one's kind of freaky, and it's a great reveal to your players when they finally come face to face with the Black Spider, and they figure out where he got his nickname from. Now, Driders are outcasts from Drow society, having failed any number of tests from their goddess, Lolth. It makes sense that the Black Spider would want to get his appearance back and come back into Drow society. So he's starting here, and he's trying his darndest to remove basically what is a curse. Um, as written, Driders can only be returned to their normal form with a Wish spell. Uh, this is definitely not something that you're going to see during your Lost Mind of Fandelver campaign unless you let it run on for about 15 more levels. Um, but it's your game, you can run it however you want, and personally I think the Black Spider is going to fail in his endeavor here even if the players don't end up stopping him. As written, the Forge of Spells is actually broken. Uh, it doesn't do what it's supposed to do anymore. It's damaged, it's been so long, so the Black Spider's not going to find a whole lot here, but it's a great start to an adventure, and it's a fantastic motivation for this character. Oh, and hey, if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and take just a moment to click the like and subscribe button down below. The other motivation that I've seen for the Black Spider that I really like is that he wants to use it to forge magical weapons to defend the Underdark from demons. This scenario is really useful if you want to go directly from Lost Minds of Fandelver to Out of the Abyss. In Out of the Abyss, demons have been unleashed into the Underdark and the players have to stop them before they destroy the world. What else is new? It's Dungeons and Dragons. Gotta save the world. With this scenario, the Black Spider can become an unlikely ally in the player's fight against the darkness, or just another dead stepping stone on the way to another adventure. Your mileage may vary. Both of these scenarios paint the Black Spider in a much more sympathetic light than is written in the module, and that's not difficult to do. When there's no motivation, there's no sympathy. Your players have to understand what the villains are doing and why they're doing it if they're going to care about them, beyond, you know, stabbing them to death. You don't always need a complex, multi-layered description of why a bad guy's doing what he's doing. Sometimes that just gets in the way of the fun. But I'm the kind of dungeon master who likes to know why. I like to have a reason for things. Call me crazy, but I like to know why my bad guys are doing what they're doing. It helps me inform what they might do next, where they might go, how they're going to react to the players foibling their plans, and best of all, it can lead into further adventures down the line. 